Hey guys, this is Lamont and Tony over here. Big Dogs Porting, Big Dogs Performance. And today, Lamont was just flowing this Edelbrock RPM Air Gap 351 Small Block Ford. I'm just flowing this to see what it flows out the box. Right now, we have, we're testing this runner right here, okay? One of the straight runners. So we're gonna go ahead and see what this particular manifold flows out the box. So he's gonna set it all up. Get the flow bench set up. So we can see what it does. Go ahead. So out the box, it's going about 256, 257. So out the box is about 256 to 257 CFM. That's the straight runner. You know, the straight runners on these manifolds are the highest flowing runners. The outside runners usually come up about 20 um, CFM short. That's actually low for this manifold. You know, it's an Edelbrock RPM air gap. It's, a, it's actually a real Edelbrock air gap. It's only flowing 257, 257 CFM. But you guys know, here's the part number. You guys know what these can do on nice applications. So just an example, um, we did a stage three, um, what was it, Super Victor? Yes. Stage three Super Victor for a customer. His name was Andrew. He had a 363 with some AFR 220 heads. Now he had a single car. The engine was, it had 10 5 to 1 compression, only 10 5 to 1. And it was a solid roller cam. Nothing exotic. We post the results and the motor on our Facebook page. But we just want to show you um, the results on this video of what that particular motor did on the engine dyno. Like I said, it was a basic 363 with forged parts. Solid roller cam. Cam wasn't anything, you know, super crazy super exotic um it had 10.5 to 1 compression and it was running our stage 3 super victor carp intake manifold with a single car it made 646.5 horsepower 510.5 foot pounds of torque now that's pretty good for that mile combo. But look at the horsepower curve. Look how it shot up. And it was at 500 foot pounds of torque, right at about 5,100 RPM. And it was over, it was at 600 horsepower, right at 6,300 RPM. And look how it carried the horsepower, and it never went down. It kept going until they stopped the dyno. All the way to 7,900 RPM when they stopped the dyno. But as you see, it never went down. So when you have intake manifolds that peak, they usually peak at the RPM that the camshaft, cylinder heads, and runner lengths are tuned to. But then after the peak, the horsepower peak, they tend to go down because the available airflow starts to taper off. As you see with this combo, our ported intake manifold was not the limiting factor. 
Um, I'm suggesting that either the heads or the camshaft couldn't make any more. Um, so it pretty much leveled off. But this motor, look how flat the torque curve is. That torque curve is flat, isn't it? Yeah. This motor will, will, will really run strong in a car, especially a Fox body, because it just keeps going and it never peters off. This motor is probably an 8,500 RPM motor. You know, um, so we're going to go ahead and get this Edelbrock 351 RPM air gap up to par. It did 257 CFM. And um, we're going to come back with the after video. See you guys at the track.